as a god. Having suffered the ultimate sacrifice, I have been denied release. I... I will defeat Olympus. I will have my revenge. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some absolutely awesome render changes that are now in RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator. So the footage you are watching right now is from the last master build of RPCS3 in which God of War 3 had absolutely enormous rendering issues. When we transition over to the latest master build, you can see that practically all of these terrain rendering and graphical issues have now been completely fixed, meaning that God of War is now completely playable, albeit at very low performance levels in RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator. So when we transition from the previous master build and take a look at just how much the graphics have improved in this new release, it is fairly easy to see just how much work they have put into getting this game running correctly and improving its graphical render quality on the emulator. Not only have they increased its graphical render quality, but they have also reduced the amount of crashes that were present in the game. They have also fixed several weird physics issues that would happen most likely due to lower frame rates. Let's transition back to the previous build and once again just marvel at exactly how much work they have put in and just how much the render quality has improved. In certain situations, the game is basically unplayable, especially in some of these quick time scenes where it almost becomes impossible to see exactly what you're doing at any given time. In latest master though, since they have implemented all of these render fixes, this is no longer an issue. So let's transition back to the previous master build once again and you can see that all of the textures on the titan in the background are completely missing and blacked out. Not only this but practically all of the light sources are not correctly working. It's really awesome to see just how much work these emulator creators and developers are putting in. You can especially see it in several indoor areas just how much the lighting model has increased in God of War 3 not only in this game but several other titles. If you guys haven't checked out my Red Dead Redemption improvements video you can find that one down in the description of this video. There has also been several performance its enhancements and graphical render fixes for that game running on this PlayStation 3 emulator also. In this area you can see that in the previous build we would get flickering light sources and sometimes in gameplay the lights just would not work. This would basically make certain areas of the game unpassable due to the fact that not only would you not be able to see your own player model but as you can see right here you would not also be able to see any of the environment or exactly what you need to do in any of the puzzles inside of the game. The only reason I was able to pass this section of the game when playing on the older version of RPCS3 with the broken graphics is the fact that I played this game practically non-stop on the PlayStation 3 when it first came out so I know practically all of the levels inside out. So when we transition back to the previous version and look at how the rendering was done and how the lighting worked, you can see that this is one of those situations where if you didn't know what you were doing inside of a level, you just wouldn't be able to pass it. Thankfully, since all of these render issues have been fixed, I would now consider this game playable, albeit, as I previously said, at lower performance levels. Now, here's another situation where the graphics not being rendered is especially a hindrance to the gameplay. So, not only in this older build would the ground and terrain rain not correctly rendered but from time to time none of the enemies would render meaning that you would basically be constantly being attacked by invisible enemies. This generally only happens in indoor areas like the cave you're seeing inside of the titan right now. So if you haven't been impressed by these changes in render quality take a look at this. You can see in this outdoor area where practically all of the lighting was previously missing it is just basically like a completely different game at this point in time. So even though there are still some stability issues you could say and there are still some fairly weird physics bugs, especially if your game starts running at under 5 frames per second, it is still a much 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 more playable gameplay experience than anything we have previously seen on this PlayStation 3 emulator in the past. So yeah guys, you can find this latest build for RPCS3 on the main download page for the emulator itself. I will have a link for that down in the description of this video. Head on down there, download it and try this game out for yourself. Down in the description you'll also find a link to the RPCS3 Patreon if you want to help with the development of this emulator. All you need to do is head down to the link in the description and pledge to support these guys. Once again guys, cheers for checking out this quick video. As always, remember to like it if you liked it. 
dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.